you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine reporting to you from the annual Alfalfa and Forge Field Day at the Kearney Ag Center in Parlier, California. With the drought in mind and the availability of water becoming more and more scarce each day, farmers are looking for alternative crops that use less water. And one option dairy producers have been looking into for their feed crops is sorghum silage. And I'm here with Jeff Dahlberg, director of the Kearney Ag Center, to talk a little bit about that. I'm working on this particular call, crop called sorghum. And sorghum is actually a very, very important crop worldwide, primarily for grain production. But it has very, very wide range of uses. And one of those uses happens to be for forage production. So what you're seeing behind me is photocrate sensitive forage sorghum that will grow very, very tall on 18 to 20 inches of water. This has some potential use for the dairy production systems here in California. Why? Because this will take less inputs, the seed costs are not as, as high as, as corn, you don't have the insect pressures, you don't have the disease pressures, it uses less water, and in case for like this, it actually needs less nitrogen. So it has a complement of strategies that, that make it produce very, very high yields with less inputs and less water. And in California, that's what we've been talking about for the last four years, right, is the drought and the fact that we've got big, big water issues. So what can we grow aside from the traditional crops that we've been growing? And in dairy, that means corn silage. You know, is there something that we could put in the ground where we're using less water? There's lots of talk about nitrogen, too, you know, and about nitrates leaching into our aquifers. Is there another crop that can use a little bit less nitrogen as well and still produce high yields? Yeah, sorghum will do that. These forage sorghums can do that. So it's a matter of what you want out of your dairy system. If you want to use less water, get away with some less nitrogen applications, some less spraying for insects and disease, sorghum's a really good option. It's not corn. And I think this is the mistake that a lot of folks make. They want to do a one-to-one -one substitution of their corn silage with sorghum silage. And then they wonder why their milk production declines a bit. And that has to do with really being able to rebalance the diet. And so your nutrition folks will have to spend a little bit more time determining how to rebalance the silage and the overall feed composition to really, you know, make up for maybe a little bit of less grain production in the, in the sorghum silage. So with some careful management, this can be a really, really profitable silage um, system for the dairies. They're doing it in New Mexico, they're doing it in West Texas, they're doing it in, in the Panhandle of Oklahoma. We could easily be doing it here in California. Thank you, Jeff. Learn more about your best options in feed production by reading California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.